In today's video tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to create the Mitsubishi Motors logo using Adobe Illustrator. To get started, jump into Illustrator and make yourself a new document that is set to 800 pixels width and 800 pixels for the height. Under the Advanced Options menu, make sure your color mode is CMYK color and your raster effects are set to high quality. These two settings down below will just make sure your logo is ready for some high quality printing. Click Create when you're good to go and you'll end up with a white artboard on the page ready for you to make your logo on. Now the first shape that we're going to be working with today is the red diamonds. Okay, and to draw them, draw them, you need to actually draw a rectangle first of all and then convert that into a diamond. So in your toolbox on the left hand side, go and grab your rectangle tool. And from your properties panel on the right, we're going to change the appearance. If you can't see this properties panel, just go to window and select properties. Okay, the appearance we're going to change, we're going to get rid of the stroke. So just choose stroke and hit the box with the red line going through it. And for the fill color, we're going to choose a red kind of color. If you're not too fussy, just use that red there in the swatches panel. But if you're fussy like me, head over to your color mixer. And we're going to use the exact red that Mitsubishi used. So for cyan, we're going to set it to 1%. Uh, the magenta is going to be 95, yellow is 94%, and black is set to 0%. So 1, 95, 94, and 0. When you're good to go, instead of drawing your rectangle like we usually do, where we click and drag on the page, I want you to actually click once on your artboard, so a box comes up and asks you what dimensions you would like to use for your rectangle. The dimensions we're going to use today is 170 pixels width and 280 pixels for the height. Click OK and you'll get the red rectangle on your screen. With it still selected, head up to your object menu now and choose path and then add anchor points. Okay, with these anchor points added in now, we can delete some of these corners to make a diamond shape. So let me show you how it's done. Go and grab your direct selection tool now, which is the white arrow from your toolbox. And if you hover around each of the four corners on this rectangle, you'll see the word anchor appear. We've created some anchor points on each of those corners. And we're going to delete them now. So in the top left hand corner where it says anchor, just click once, head over to your properties panel and find the section that says anchors and hit the little pen shape there with a minus symbol next to it. That just removes that anchor point that you've selected. Go to the top right and click once on the anchor point and do the same thing just to remove it. And you guessed it, we're going to do the same for the bottom left and the same for the bottom right. And there we have it, we've got the top part of the Mitsubishi logo already made. Okay, and it's just a matter of copying and pasting this now to complete the other two parts. So with this one selected, we're going to go to Edit and Copy, and then Edit and Paste. You'll get your second diamond here. Now we just need to rotate this diamond around to the right, so just right click on it, go to Transform, and choose Rotate. The angle I want you to rotate today is 58.73 degrees. Okay, I know it's very precise, but we need, to be, we need to be very precise to get this logo working perfectly. So 58.73 degrees is what we're going to rotate this shape at. Click OK. And then I want you to just move it so it connects up right on the tip of that top diamond. Okay, if you zoom in there, you can see they're connected perfectly. So that's two thirds of our Mitsubishi logo working. Let's get the last one going by simply clicking on this diamond down the bottom right click on it and go to transform and reflect when the reflect box comes up i want you to click copy rather than ok so it creates a second copy of that shape and you can just pick it up move it across snap it into position they all look like they're joined perfectly so we've now got the mitsubishi shape or the shape part of the logo all drawn up highlight all three diamonds now right click on them and group them and finally, over in your Properties panel, find the Align section. Make sure this first box here is aligned to the artboard. And choose this option here that says Horizontal Align Center. Okay, then go across. We might just need to click off that and click it again. It must already be in the center. I'll show you what that does. So if I push this off to one side and click this Horizontal Align Center, it just moves it to the center of my page. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, the final thing we need to do now is add some text in. It just says Mitsubishi Motors down below. So go and grab your type tool from your toolbox, click somewhere on your screen, and in capital letters write Mitsubishi Motors. 
highlight that text, make it nice and big. I'm going to go with about size 80. Uh, line spacing there, the letting is all good. That looks good, that looks good. I'm going to center my text. So at the moment it's left aligned. I'm going to center align it now. And I'm also going to change the font. Okay, now the font that I found that is closest to the actual Mitsubishi font, it's called ITC Avant Garde Gothic Bold Condensed. Bit of a tongue twister that one, but if we click on that, you'll see that your font changes to something that looks pretty similar to the Mitsubishi Motors font. It is a free font to download, so I will provide a link in the description below. What we need to do now is just grab our selection tool, click on that text, go over to your properties panel and under the align section, just horizontally align the center. And that sticks it right in the middle of the page below our existing logo. Now you can nudge that around a little bit if you like, uh, but I think where that is, that looks pretty good. Um, the color of this text is not black. It's actually a really dark gray. Okay, so again, you could go and choose a dark gray from over here in your swatches, but I'm gonna to go to my color mixer and I'm gonna be very precise. I'm gonna write in 75% for cyan, 65 magenta, 62 for yellow, and 81% for the black. And that gives us a very dark gray color. Still looks much like black. Anyway, there you have it. That is how you create the Mitsubishi Motors logo using Adobe Illustrator. To save your work, simply go to File, Export, Export As. Heaps of options here to export it as whatever file type you, you like. I'm just gonna go with Ping or PNG. And I'll just set it to Mitsubishi Logo Final. And I just spelled that all wrong um, with my caps lock on, but never mind. Click on Export. A little box will come up just asking you for a few settings. You can tweak them if you'd like, but I'd leave the resolution as high quality, 300 pixels per inch. Uh, leave all that as it is. Anything you might want to change is the background color. If you don't want it transparent, then just make it white. Black's not going to work. It'll pretty much scrap the text. So I'm going to leave mine as transparent and click OK. And there we go. We are all finished.